All right, so in this video, we are actually going to get into some of the VoIP configurations. We're going to set up two different extensions. We're going to set those extensions up with their caller ID. We're going to set them up with voicemail. And this will be something that would be done in each and every group. And uh, let's go ahead and jump into it. To configure extensions, we go under Applications and then Extensions. And then here we'll click on add extension and we'll select add new SIP Chan underscore PJ SIP extension. For the user extension, we're going to put in 101 and that's regardless of whatever group you're in. It doesn't matter if you're in group 01, group 02, group 03, etc. Everybody is going to do um, a user extension of 101. Now, your display name is going to be group and then XX user one. So for this one, you are going to put in your two digit group ID there. And for your outbound CID, it's going to be the same thing. Group XX user one, where XX is going to be your group ID. For secret, everybody will put Cisco 101 and then we're going to hit submit down here in the bottom right. Next we're going to click on the edit icon over here to the right underneath actions and we'll go to the voicemail tab. We'll set this to be enabled by selection by selecting the option that says yes. And for voicemail password, I'm going to set it to be one, two, three, four. Require from same extension, I will set to no. And then play CID, we want that to be set to yes. Now I'm going to hit submit in the bottom right corner, followed by apply config in the top right corner. Once this is done reloading, we're going to add a second extension that's going to be for group user two. And in order to do that, we'll click on this over here. Once it opens up, we'll click add extension and we'll choose again, the SIP Chan underscore PJ SIP extension. And this user's extension is going to be 102. Again, everyone is going to use that. I will let this auto populate for this one's password it will be Cisco 102 just like before we will hit submit and then we'll hit edit under the actions column and we'll go to voicemail we want to enable it, set it to one, two, three, four. We don't want it to be required that it's coming from the same extension. And we'll select yes for place CID. Then we'll hit submit in the bottom right corner, followed by com apply config in the top right corner. And we'll just wait for that to reload. I'm going to end this section of the video lab guide here. And in the next video, we'll start showing how to install our phones and then register them with the SIP server, our free PBX, as well as testing some phone calls.